I'm convinced that in order to win this league, you need superstars who are going to take a little bit less money in order to spread the rest of the available cap space around. You have to have some extra cap space in order to win. Now, that doesn't mean a guy who should be making 12 million is making seven. It just means that you need guys to take a little bit of a pay cut so you have a bit more of a meal ticket to spread around the team. I'm looking at guys like Nathan McKinnon on his last deal, like Brad Marchand, like David Posternock, these types of guys. Now, yes, the big key here is you don't wait until Austin Matthews becomes Austin Matthews and then he has all the leverage and you have to give him 11.6 and walk him right to free agency without buying any of his UFA years. No, no, no. You do it before. I mean, we brought up the Tim Stutzla example and the Jack Hughes example. You do it before they explode in the league. So then it looks like a big number at the time, but it becomes a McDonald's dollar value meal real quick if you try the player's talent and their development process. Now listen, Cole Caulfield doesn't have the same leverage that Austin Matthews had or that Mitch Marner had or even that Austin Matthews is going to have for his next contract. He could literally ask Brendan Shanahan and Brad Living to get on all fours and bark like a dog and they would do it. He has all the power in that negotiation. But in the Cole Caulfield situation, what he can do is he can pull a Matthew Kachuk from 2019. We've talked about this at nauseum. I don't want to go through the whole thing again. He could say, oh, I'm only going to sign, uh, you know, two, three, four years. You're going to walk me to my arbitration. I'm going to get crazy money. I'm going to become an RFA and then I'm going to say, hey, trade me. I don't want to be here. Or let's say he does sign like three years for seven or eight million. You can bet your bottom dollar when those three years are up, that number is going to be ridiculous. The ask from Cole Caulfield. And a lot of Habs fans are going to say, oh, he's not that type of guy. He would screw the Habs like that. Well, we'll see, okay? Because if he does sign a three-year deal for seven or eight million, then he definitely is that type of guy because he's not willing to give the Habs those UFA years right now and he wants more money down the road. That's literally what that means if he does that. But here's the kicker. This could change absolutely everything and it's from Tony Marinero who, if you know Montreal and you listen to that local radio, you know Tony Marinero. Cole Caulfield contract update. Yesterday I reported that I'm hearing Cole Caulfield's new contract with Montreal Canadiens, listen to this, will not be more than Nick Suzuki's cap hit of $7.875 million. Today I was just informed that talks are progressing. All signs point to a seven or eight year deal. The reason that's huge is because it's so hard to find a team nowadays who can get their two top players locked up to under $8 million. That is unheard of. And Nick Suzuki set the bar here if this happens because Montreal can walk into this negotiation and say, hey, this guy's our captain. He's our number one center. He has to bust his butt both sides of the ice. You just score goals. Do you really think you're going to get paid more than the captain of the Montreal Canadiens, Cole? Come on. So that as a negotiating chip is huge for the Montreal Canadiens. But again, scoring goals is the hardest thing to do in the National Hockey League. He's got some leverage, but if they're able to get these two guys locked up, even if it's under nine or honestly, even if it's single digits in these two contracts, that is an unbelievable win for this franchise and it can change everything. All of a sudden, you've got free reign to make a ton more moves and sign a ton more players and build an even better contender with that extra money. Because make no mistake about it, there's a young team there in Montreal. There's going to be some players who are really good who are going to explore explode onto the scene and who are going to ask for a lot of money in their contract negotiations. And if you don't have the money to pay up, you're going to handcuff yourself and you're going to end up in a really tough situation, a la Toronto Maple Leafs. So if this is true, what Tony Marinero was saying, I don't know if people understand how huge of a win this would be and how much this could change the entire Habs franchise for the next 8 to 10 years if Cole does this in the modern NHL. This is literally how teams win. You don't win by giving out 12 or 13 million Scooby Snacks. You don't. You have to try to hit on value deals in this league. And if Ken Hughes can do this one... Wow, is it huge. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, Habs fans. As usual, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.